Hello there, fifth graders. I thought I would take a moment and just make sure you know how to fill out this book report, which you're supposed to do for the book Island of the Blue Dolphins. Of course, first off here, you put your name. So I would put Mr. Dauber, but you wouldn't put Mr. Dauber. You would put your name. Then it says title. There you just write Island of the Blue Dolphins. Now, this format could go for any book report, but you are writing a book report about Island of the Blue Dolphins. So you write Island of the Blue Dolphins there for title. Then for author, you write the the author of the Island of the Blue Dolphins, and that's the person who wrote the book. Who it says right here is Scott O'Dell. So there you write Scott O. Whoops. Scott Odell, like that. Here, it wants the setting. Now, I'm not gonna do this whole book report with you right now, but I showed you an example of how to answer this using a book, another book that you read this year, The Chronicles of Narnia. So here's that example, it says setting. Now, setting means where and when the story takes place. So here for setting for The Chronicles of Narnia, in the example one, it says the setting is a large mansion in the English countryside during World War II and because the story really takes place in two different places and a magical land called Narnia during and after the reign of an evil queen. OK, then next it says set. It says who are the main characters? Now, I don't want you just to write their names here. I want you to write the names of the main characters and a short description of them. And as an example of that here with the lion, the witch and the wardrobe, I wrote the names and a character description for all of the main characters in the story. So I did one for Lucy Pevensey, Edmund Pevensey, Susan Pevensey, Peter Pevensey, and Jadis, the white witch, and also Aslan. Now I'll just read you the first one here, Lucy Pevensey. She is an eight-year-old girl who is very honest, trustworthy, and kind. She trusts others quickly and gets her feelings hurt easily. So that's my description of Lucy from the Chronicles of Narnia. For your purposes here with the Island of the Blue Dolphins, of course, you would definitely want to write a character description for Karana, but you could also write one for her brother, Ramo. You could write one for her father, Chief Chawik. And you might even do one for her dog. Um, what's the dog's name again? Um, it's funny, I can't think of the dog's name right now. For summary, you summarize the entire story. So here you pretend like you're talking to someone who's never read the book and you want to tell them all the main parts of the book. So basically they're like, I've never read the book. I'm never planning on reading the book, but I want to know what the story is about. How could you basically get them caught up on the entire book to understand the book, know all the main events in the book and know what the book is about without actually reading it themselves? That's what a summary is for. So here's my example of a summary of the lion, the witch and the wardrobe. Notice it's only one paragraph long. So I'm not like rewriting the entire book, but I'm telling all the most important parts of the book in a much shorter version. Here's what I wrote for The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe follows the adventures of four siblings, Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy, who discover a magical land called Narnia hidden behind a wardrobe in a professor's house. In Narnia, they encounter talking animals, mythical creatures, and a perpetual winter ruled by the White Witch. As they join forces with the noble lion Aslan, they embark on a quest to defeat the witch and restore peace to Narnia. Along the way, they face challenges, betrayal, and ultimately learn about courage, sacrifice, and the power of redemption, culminating in the triumph of good over evil and the restoration of Narnia's rightful ruler, Aslan. Okay, so that basically gives a thumbnail sketch of the entire book of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It boils down the whole story into just its essential essence or its essential parts, and it tells only those. That's what a good summary does.
Next, it asks for what is the main conflict and how is it overcome? Now, remember all your story elements. There's plot, character, conflict, theme, and setting. And conflict is the main problem that the main character has to face and overcome. And so here's what I wrote about the main conflict in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and you can then apply that to Island of the Blue Dolphins. The main conflict in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is that the White Witch has taken over Narnia and made it always winter but never Christmas. How do they even know about Christmas if this whole story is happening in another universe? That's what I'd like to know. Anyways, that, that's a side note. The children and their friend Aslan, the lion, want to stop her and bring back peace and joy to Narnia. They face scary challenges, but stick together and stand up to the witch. In the end, Aslan sacrifices himself to save one of the children, but then he comes back to life and helps defeat the witch. With teamwork and courage, they beat the witch and make Narnia happy again. So there it explains how the main conflict that they have to overcome in, in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is the witch. Okay, but it doesn't just say the witch. It does a lot more describing than that, which is what I want you to do in your book report too. Coming back over here, it says theme. Now, theme is a little bit harder. It is the main message, or you could even think of it as the moral of the story. It's kind of like the deep truth that the author is trying to teach through the story. So here for the theme of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, I wrote the theme of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is about being brave and doing what is right, even when it's hard. It's also about friendship and sticking together to overcome challenges. The story teaches us that good will always win over evil in the end if we have courage and believe in ourselves. Okay, now they don't only believe in themselves, actually. I would maybe change that part now thinking about it because they didn't just believe in themselves. They actually were able to overcome evil in the story with the help of Aslan. So they weren't just believing in themselves as, as if they could do it alone. And, you know, that also raises the point that you might not always get the theme right. People can argue about what the theme is of a particular story. Um, one person might think the theme is, is one thing. Someone else might think the theme is something else. The theme is a little harder to nail down. People can actually argue about it and have different opinions about it because the theme isn't right on top. It, the author doesn't tell you what the theme is. He's not like, I'm going to write a story about how it's important to be honest. No, he just puts situations where people have to sacrifice and, and maybe even suffer in a story in order to preserve honesty. And that lets you know through all those situations in the story that the theme is about honesty. Um, so try and see if you can figure out what the theme is in the Island of the Blue Dolphins. In order to figure out what the theme is, it's really, it'll be very connected with what the conflict is. So think, what's the main conflict? What's the, what's the really hard or bad thing that the main character has to overcome? The main theme of the story will generally be connected with that. Okay, your favorite part. This part this one so coming back over here you're supposed to write what your favorite part and it is of the island of the blue dolphins and it says describe in detail and explain why so here i wrote for the lion the witch and the and the wardrobe my favorite part of the lion the witch and the wardrobe is when peter kills the wolf i like this part because in it peter faces something he is very afraid of and that i would be very afraid of and he is victorious over it so notice that I didn't just write when, when Peter killed the wolf. No, I restated the question in the answer. My favorite part of Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is. Then I said what the part is, and then I said why. And that's what I want you to do too. Next, it says, do you like the book? Why or why not? This is an opinion question. Just like the last one, your favorite part, that was an opinion question too. So there's no right or wrong answer. It's okay if you didn't like the book. Not everybody likes every book, but it says explain why or why not. So if you didn't like the book, I want some really good reasons. And if you did like the book, 
I want some really good reasons. Tell me why. So here for do you like the book? Why or why not? I say I really liked reading The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe for many reasons. One thing I really liked about the book was how exciting it is. It has a lot of battles and fighting scenes, and that keeps you on the edge of your seat. I just realized there's a typo here. Oh, wait, no. There's a lot of the battles and fighting scenes that keep you on the edge of your seat and make you want to keep reading. Another thing I like about the book is how Edmund's character changes throughout the story. I like stories in which a character grows to become a better person because it reminds me of my own desire and effort to grow in virtue and improve myself. It's also a reminder that that mistakes in the past don't necessarily have to determine your future. So that's what I wrote for whether or not I liked the book of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And I want you to apply that to the book Island of the Blue Dolphins. And then this is the very last one, very last question. Um, it says, an example of figurative language from the book. Explain what kind of figurative language it is and what it means. I'm almost finished. Just one more second. Um, and then for Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, I wrote an example of figurative language from the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is when Lucy describes the snow in Narnia as being like a blanket. This is a simile comparing the snow to a blanket. It helps the reader imagine the snow covering the landscape in a thick, soft layer, creating a cozy and picturesque scene despite the cold and wintry setting. So I want you to do that same thing. Go back through Island of the Blue Dolphins and find figurative language. I know that Mrs. Strom taught you guys all about the different kinds of figurative language this year. So I want you to use your knowledge and expertise of figurative language to find an example of it in the Lion, the Witch, and the, I mean, not in the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, in the Island of the Blue Dolphins. The example that I gave was from the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, because again, I, I know that's a book that you've read this year. Okay, so that is every single question in this book report, and I have given you an example of how to answer each of the questions using the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to fill in and do a great job on this book report, and I really look forward to reading your book reports. Okay, I will catch you next time. Signing off.